Hey, hey, Starfish of Fire, back with another challenge. That's right, I've got another one from the Choco Challenge. Had it for about a year, but I've been wanting to do this. This is the Cocoa Loco, and it's a piece of chocolate with black reaper pepper. From Ed Curry, of course. So you've got a trademark. Look at that. That's right. Let's check this out. Now, I've done one similar to this. White Lightning. Now, this was a mix of 12 of the hottest peppers in the world, also from Ed Curry. And this was also to raise money for the uh, End Hunger. Uh, so it donated food to local food banks. This one is actually a Choco Challenge. Uh, every Choco Challenge purchased, a Fugo Box donates $5 to the fight against prostate cancer. Pretty cool. Actually, my father might have prostate cancer. His results come back in a couple of weeks, and that's what drew my attention to this. I've had it for like a year, and I was thinking about that. So I'm going to do that today. Um, so let's look at the back of this. Uh, this says, uh, the Choco Challenge is for the pain-seeking masochist who hates cancer, but also has no regard for their own well-being. Okay. Our chocolate is fired up by the Black Reaper, a mysterious pepper hotter than a Carolina Reaper and exclusive to the Choco Challenge. No extracts. That's a thumbs up. The Black Reaper is a new unreleased pepper created by mad scientist Smokin' Ed Curry at Pucker Butt Pepper Company. Yeah, check it out. There's some videos online. You can check him out. Um, he's, you know, he's on there quite often, but I still haven't visited there. It's North... Or, South Carolina? It's in the Carolinas. I want to go. All right, here we go. Just crack this baby open. Let's have a look, shall we? Okay. What's going on here? Okay, okay. So this, I open it this way. So this is sitting in here as such. I have it upside down? Yeah. There we go. Okay. That's how it is. Check that out. Pretty cool. Just one little piece of chocolate. Black Carolina Reaper, huh? Okay. Last chance to turn back, it says. The kid doesn't turn back. Let's get on with this. Alright, so we've got it. It's still sealed, as you can see. There's a same face there that you can see there, just in case. Now we're going to go ahead and yeah, wasn't very clean. Maybe I need to sharpen my knife. All right, here we go. Look at this. Just a little piece of chocolate. All right, this is a starfish fire and wish me luck. I'm on chocolate. I've done several challenges. Gets into your system really quick. Down the gutty works. Cat cramps galore. Really good tasting chocolate. I like the salt on that side. <clears throat> ah. Okay. So. Just like regular Reaper, there's a delay effect. I'm going to tell you right now. They put a good amount of Reaper in this. Here it comes. <clears throat> oh, yeah. Mmm. Mmm. Now I'm wishing I had it chewed on both sides of my mouth, but I'm sure I'll... Ooh. Mm. Oh, that's a wonderful burn. Yes! All right. I've been looking forward to this. I haven't had a good burn like this in a while. Um...
Just the tantalizing feelings of endorphins dropping. Mm. Mm. I think my tolerance is down. I need to get it up. This is one way to do it. Oh, it's still building. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Right now I'm about a four. Oh. It's hitting a five. I'm starting to get a little endorphiny in that five mark. That's it. that's what I mean by my tolerance because I'm not yet getting it. There's the eye water starting to kick in. This could surpass a five. Uh. Whew. Mm -mm -mm. Yeah, I'm getting some endorphin going. This is nice. <laughs> uh, if you guys haven't experienced a real endorphin dump, when they only you know the ones that get you are the fresh peppers, but this is just kind of hitting right there. Mm. Once it crosses that threshold, I'm starting to get numb in the hands and the arms. That's your body, your brain sending your body, your brain sending signals and sending endorphins to your body saying, hey, we're on fire, but you're not. There's no cell damage. A lot of people think this stuff will hurt you. As I've said in the past, it doesn't do cell damage. It doesn't hurt you. Aside from allergic reactions to certain ingredients uh, and maybe you know, byproducts, side effects, so to speak. You know, if you have trouble breathing, if you already have heart problems, if you're in decent health, it's not doing cell damage. It's making your brain think it is. Just like someone stuck a lighter in your mouth. Help us with your brain. I'm getting just a little slight endorphins. It's a wonderful burn, though, man. Still lingering. I'm going to say I hit the five but didn't quite hit the threshold of six. Six would be my eyes are watering slightly. We're getting into six. Uh, nose is running. You know what? I'll go ahead and say it is getting that realm of six. Anything, what I say, anything past five is eyes watering, nose running, starting to feel uncomfortable. I don't feel uncomfortable, so I'm going to say it's a 5.5. However, for people that are non-chili heads, you're going to probably think this is one of the hottest things you've ever tasted. If you have never experienced anything hot, hot, like a super hot pepper, anything over a million Scoville, this this will get you going. This will make you know. But at the same time, it's a good introduction because it's got good flavor. It's a small amount, so it's not probably going to hit the goody works too bad. And, um, yeah, it's a good burn. So now it's starting to subside a little bit. Reapers tend to linger. That's another thing I like about it because, man, you know, some people go for that milk right away. What, all that does is make you feel like at your base, and then boom, it comes right back. So if you like that feeling of, ah, you know, heat, and then heat, you know, that's all you, man. What I like to do is just let it ride. Now, I've made that mistake in the past, but uh, this, this is really good. This is... Uh, so it's starting to subside. I'm down to a three now. But guys, this is really good chocolate. If it's still available, like I said, I think I got this a year ago. And uh, the prostate uh, cancer, fight against prostate cancer, uh, $5 it goes to. I said my father might have that. We'll find out on the 29th. And uh, so, yeah, check it out. I'm looking forward to their next one. I think there's another one out that's maroon colored. I haven't tried yet. I still got the box from this one, so this is a cool program. Raise money, and there goes the nose. <laughs> and at the same time, have a good time enjoying the, the flavor profiles and the the heat. So, whew. I'll be back again uh, this weekend. I'm going to do some more hot sauce. I got some good stuff, like this Cosmic Disco that. Karma sauce, man. It's a mix of two of my favorite karma sauces. One of the two of their most popular sauces, I think, have all been on hot ones. And I'm looking forward to this one. I've got another one in the fridge. So, 
Until then, it's Starfish of Fire. And I'm out. Woo!